What's going on guys and gals? Today I have a really quick tutorial for you. I'm just going to show you how to use Ableton's preset echo plugin to get a really nice lo-fi tape delay sound to either your instruments or your samples. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I have a pretty basic MIDI clip loaded up on a uh, e-piano. This is what it sounds like. We're going to pull in an instance of echo. Let's, uh, first thing we're going to do is turn it off sync. We're not really focusing on the delay part of the plugin. We want to use the character part. So we're going to turn it on time, turn it down to maybe two to five milliseconds, I think is a good range. Um, we'll turn down the feedback here. You can keep the input at the original zero. And like I said, we're going to go to the character section. And what we're going to do, repitch is already on which we're going to want that. Turn on wobble, turn on noise, and this is where the magic happens. So just watch what happens as I mess with these parameters. That's the sound it gives. It's really subtle, um, but I think it can make a huge difference if you're into the lo-fi genre, R&B, um, anything along the lines of that. You can also implement this with samples, of course, or really any other sound. Um, I'm just going to do another example of how it would sound like with a sample. Okay, so I got a pretty cool sound example here. Um, it already kind of has a lo-fi sound to it, but you'll still be able to tell a difference with the echo plugin. This is what it sounds like dry without the plugin. And here's with. intense when I turn up the morph in amount. Uh, you can do a lot of experimental stuff with this, or if you just want to stick to that OG educational VHS sounding thing, this is what you got. The echo plug. Sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell because I got more videos coming in the future. Thanks for watching guys.